Okay, so as we mentioned, we can use the kinematic equations to describe objects moving with a constant acceleration. The first of these kinematic equations is that the final velocity of an object is equal to the initial velocity of an object plus the acceleration times time. So we write this as V is equal to V subscript naught plus AT. Let's have a look now at where this equation comes from. So from our definition of acceleration, we said that acceleration was equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity over the time. Now our final velocity is just the velocity that we're trying to find. That's the velocity at some time t. The initial velocity we're going to start representing by v subscript naught. So the subscript naught kind of indicates that it's at time equals naught. So this is at t equals naught and this one here is at the time is equal to t. So now all we need to do is substitute these into this equation. So we've got a is equal to v minus v naught on t. Multiply both sides through by t and we end up with at is equal to v minus v subscript naught. And so moving this over to this side, we end up with V0 plus AT is equal to V, which tells us that V is equal to V0 plus AT. The final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration times the time T. Let's have a look at a problem now that we could solve using this equation. So the question is, a car is travelling with a velocity of 20 metres per second eastwards. It comes to a bend in the road and accelerates at a rate of 2.0 metres per second per second for 4.0 seconds in a northerly direction. What is its final velocity? So to answer this question, we're going to need to make use of the first kinematic equation, that the velocity equals the initial velocity plus the acceleration times time. But we're also going to need to make use of our vector representations because one of these is eastwards and the other's in a northerly direction. So we're going to need to represent everything by vectors and use the head to tail method to add these vectors together. Okay, so all we need to do is substitute into this equation. The velocities are all vectors. So let's draw little lines underneath them to indicate that these are vector quantities. Okay, so our initial velocity is 20 metres per second eastwards. So let's have a little compass northeast. So we're going eastwards this way, 20 metres per second, plus the acceleration, which we're told is 2 metres per second per second in the northerly direction. So that goes upwards like this. That's 2.0 metres per second per second times the 4 seconds, so times 4.0. So this is equal to, we've got 20 metres per second easterly, and then 2 times 4, which is 8 metres per second in the northerly direction. So now to add vectors, remember that we always add vectors by drawing them head to tail. So here's our first vector, we'll draw it over here. Here's our second vector, we draw the tail of the second vector at the head of the first vector going up like that. This is east, this is north, so there's 90 degrees between them. This is 8.0 and this is 20. So our resultant is going from the tail of the first vector to the head of the second vector. So this is our resultant vector. This is this velocity here. So what we need to do now is work out the magnitude and direction of this vector. So to do that, we're going to need to use a bit of geometry. We're going to need to use Pythagoras' theorem. So Pythagoras' theorem tells us that the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. So we've got that the velocity squared is equal to 8 squared plus 20 squared, and so the velocity is equal to the square root of 8 squared plus 20 squared. And solving this on the calculator, we end up with 21.5 metres per second. So that would be the speed, but we need to find the velocity. So we also need to work out this angle here. So using so 
ka toa. We know the opposite and the adjacent. So in this case, we're best off using tan. So tan of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which is equal to 8.0 over 20. So theta is equal to the inverse tan of 8.0 on 20. And solving that on the calculator, to solve it, you would need to press shift, tan, open brackets, 8 divided by 20, close brackets. When you do that, you should end up with 21.8 degrees. And so the velocity is 21.5 meters per second in a direction. This is 22, so 22 degrees, and this is north of east. So that is a bit of a weird way to write a direction. Usually you would write them east of north. So that would be this angle in here. So this angle here would be 90 minus the 22, which would be 68. So you could either write this or you could write 68 degrees east of north. Either of those is okay.